welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one here is for Barry, Season 2, Episode Number 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Tell a friend and tell a friend that the algorithm is still over here making us watch Barry, which we love. Thank you. Yeah, uh, super excited that this got voted back into rotation. Yeah. So great job on the pulse Thank test, you. guys. We Stepping appreciate up. you. <laughs> All right, a couple comments from the last episode since it's been about three weeks. Chloe coming through to say, I love this show. Hope it gets into rotation again someday. It did. You guys just voted it. Good this job. is why the pulse test is awesome. It's a democracy. Um, all right, Kaluna comes through to say, this is such a solid season premiere. The introduction of Esther, the Burmese mob boss, and the jealousy that's creating in Hank. Incredible. Hank going from a tank and a wig to threatening Barry outside the acting class. Perfect. Barry talking about his time in the military, his first kill, and the difference between the actor's fantasy and the cold, brutal reality of what it was actually like is so discordant and impactful. Mm -hmm. This show never lets you get comfortable. It keeps you on your toes, stressing over what's going to happen next in the best possible way. I added possible because it was just a really great line. Yeah. Um, one cool connection between uh, episode one and this episode is... In the pilot, when Barry is at the bar with his new classmates, zoning out, watching Sally dance, he's brought back to reality by Ryan Madison, the actor he was supposed to kill, thumping on their table and chanting, Barry Berkman, in the same rhythm as the soldiers cheering Barry on after making his first kill mm. in episode, season two, episode one. Uh, wow! Great callback. Would have never recognized okay. that. Great insight. Also, I love the bit at the start of the episode when Barry says he will direct the play while Gene is absent and someone asks him if he's ever directed before and he says, I have not directed before, but I think it's going to be great. This is basically what happened with Bill Hader directing Barry. His first real turn at directing was the pilot of Barry. Bill has mentioned in interviews that he asked HBO about directing some of the show's episode and they asked him, just like Jermaine S. Barry, if he had ever directed before. And he had a response pretty similar to Barry's in this episode. I love that. I love that too. Mm, Great insight. insight. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's jump into episode two right now. It's an okay plan. It's fine. And I guarantee you she did not come up with it. I mean, look at her. And look at Cristobal's face. That's a for help. So you get in there, you shook her in her crazy watermelon sized head with this. My family sent it to me as threat. Well, if it came back with Esther's blood on it, massive fumble turnover for Hank. Came back with her blood on it, what do you mean? I don't know how. You want me to get the bullet out of her head? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Well, I don't know how I do that. That's not how bullets work. Okay, um, dummy's version. What if you shoot her with a thick book behind her? It'll go through her head, get stuck in the book, you open up book, take out bullet symbol. Uh, <laughs> it's so simple. So you're saying is I need to get her to read a really thick book, and then while she's reading it, shoot her in the back. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. I see what you're really saying, that's a head on a hat. There is an embellishment called the Dennehy balloon. Actually, it's a colostomy bag filled with blood that Brian Dennehy used during Death Trap. When he was shot, he would... <laughs> Mr. Kusno, um, I don't really you have to tell the story, story I was told yesterday in front of an, uh, an audience, do I? Of course not. It um, has to define mm -hmm. us, and I just, I don't think that's the person that I am. Barry, you're just a fine nervous. Yeah, but I will not hear a word about switching it out one iota for something less compelling. You, sir, are doing Afghanistan. See, I want to do the story about meeting you. Go on. Go on. Yeah, you know, just being in this class and, and uh, seeing you teach and... Uh, so you want to tell the story of meeting me? Yeah. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> All I have to do is play this either. Right. Right. I mean, way better than Afghanistan. I can be as involved as you need me to be in order to... Thanks, Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby. Woo! That's, That's a bad... bad. You are nailed. Scenes. It's like I forgot you were acting. You became the character of what was it? Uh, this script just said wife. We get elevated in it. Look, we love it. Wife. I forget how we feel. How do you, you <laughs> feel? Be honest. It's uh, so great. Thank you so much. That's so I, great. I feel so lucky. Thank you. Well, you are booking like crazy. You gotta come by more. All right. Yeah. Sorry to keep this brief, but Mike and I have to run. They'll validate you at the front. You know how to get out, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so you stay. Uh, you two go on ahead. I'll, I'll walk her out. 
so fucking thrilled. Oh my god, I think you're fighting her. <sighs> you hate it. I just like <sighs> seeing it all like cut together like that back to back. Look, like these cards are not the best representation of your talent. I just I feel like I have more to bring to the table than breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm crazy about you. And I just want you to be happy. Okay. Um, uh, so what do we do? <clears throat> Here's what we do. We play the game. Hey, okay, okay. Hear me out. Before Jennifer Lawrence became J-Law, she was the daughter on the Bill Engvall sitcom. Okay? <laughs> Good parts come with time. You gotta hang in there. I know it's so frustrating, but it's the way this industry works. Okay? Okay. Is that the plan? Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Lindsay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Well, at least somebody was trying to, like, look at the bright side, you know? Hey, Monroe Fuchs. So that was trash, everything they, they, they showed now. Except for the Monroe one with Fuchs. the hostage thing. Pompey I feel like Burner. she was crying. Yeah, like Pompey Burner looks like she can. Detective Loach, LAPD. Just like to ask you a few questions. Shit. Yeah. So, Mr. Fuchs, LAPD. I have your tooth at the scene of a quadruple homicide. Did that happen? You know, that's funny. <laughs> I was going to call the cops about that. Uh, my two mother should have a relationship with his son. <coughs> okay. Were you planned? No. But then there you were. were you so I did what every that? great actor does. I am left. Look, you want to leave them wanting more, not less. And then there was my work, my students, no. fucking students. Okay. Look, you're jealous, Leo. It's totally natural. I don't care about your students. So bad. And neither do you. That whole theater is just a big shrine to you. Even this is about you. We don't have a relationship, Dad. And I'm fine with that. I really am. No reason to force this. Jeans just self absorbed a little bit. Mm -hmm. As most actors are. Barry, you're worthless and weak. You did 12 angry men, too. Do you hear me, Barry? You cement the head? Yes, Mr. Kistner. Are you aware you are incapable of playing a character with the mildest, mildest set of balls? I think it's because I've never had an adult male role model, so I don't have the emotional tools to advocate for myself. I know that. I'm going to give you those tools, and those change your life. He's like, why you don't let me do it? It's me. Who's talking to you? I am Gene. This is my theater. It's what I do. Barry. I am Gene. Hey! It's good to be a foreign actor. No. Do, like, yeah, just, uh, we just let me do it. up on his feet. It's feeling pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we had a quite What was the, um... Oh, yeah. Did you say I have no nuts or that I, I have no balls? We just want to make sure it's accurate. Barry, you're going to do the story from Afghanistan. What? Just be your real self. Afghanistan. I don't think she liked your performance. Uh, She's not I, I, I mean, thank God Lindsay's on my team, you know? Because my other two agents, Mike and Michael, they just don't get me. I mean, they keep sending me up for these shitty little parts. It hurts that they don't think that I'm ready for something bigger. So your burden is that you're booking work. Okay, fair. I'm, I'm booking, yeah. But, um, you know, nothing substantial, nothing meaty. Just like housewife, stepmother, assistant. Nothing I can really bring my truth to, you know? Just a bunch of weak women. Oh, you don't like weak women. You can't bring your truth to them. No. Why? I... <laughs> What do you mean, why? I'm a very self-sufficient person. But 
I um I'm extremely independent. Really? Um, when I moved out here, I didn't know a single person, and I had no money, and I'm doing just fine, thank you. Okay. <gasps> okay, Jean, I think I know what you're trying to do here, and I'm just, I'm not going to fall for it, okay? I just, I know what you, you want me to say, I get it, okay? I... Okay, you want me to say that I was married and he was abusive and I stayed in it for years anyway. Is that what you want? That's what you wanted to hear. What, you think that I'm booking all these weak women because I was weak in my marriage? Well, you're wrong. You're wrong. I am not weak. I left, okay? I, 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 I moved to LA to live for me and now I, I stand up for myself and, and I don't apologize and, and I am with someone who respects and accepts me for who I am, okay? And I will never, ever be with a violent man again. Yeah, I hear murdering Don't you think that that might be your story? Well, yeah. I mean, some people just can't see shit. They can't see within their own self. That's right, baby. I mean, I'm sitting here like, you got a whole story right I now. literally haven't said anything but looked at you. Yeah. And you're pulling all this up. I need to start doing things. that. Just, just, just let them go. Just let them go. Just stare at them, baby. Yeah, they talk themselves into the right position every day. It's hard to do that when you're on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Can you yeah. see me staring at you? Yeah. Let's pull up FaceTime. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm just, just letting you in. <laughs> Jesus. 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 in a car accident, so. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, I think he's fucked up. I get it. But 
the fuck are you doing here, man? I don't want to bother you. I'm, I'm, I'm just a bit freaked out. You know? you know what I'm saying? The LAPD, they came to Cleveland. And, and, and they were asking a bunch of questions. Fuck did you fire fire him? Shut the fuck up and listen to me. Did you kill a fucking cop? That's all. Huh? Did you? Because they think I'm involved. And I've got to fucking know exactly what happened and what the fuck you, you did. Go. Huh? You no, know, no, I could go to jail. You, you don't ambush me like this. No, no, you don't ambush me like this. You got to go to jail. I don't care about you. Fuck off. Fucking me, man. Fuck off. Fucking help you! I don't want to see you again. Yeah. I can get him. Just give me another shot. Oh, baby. Oh, here we have one of the cops. Uh, he All right, that was episode two of Barry, and man, it just gets better and better on there. I mean, you know, what can you say? It is just an excellent episode right there. I don't know where we're really going from here at this point, but um, we do have to take care of the repercussions of Barry not doing the hit and Barry doing the hit from the last season with the cops. So uh, the, the cops partner is going to be on his ass for a minute, and it looks like Fuchs is going to be helping the police. I don't know if he's doing that on his own free will or if he's doing that to, like, help his own self and Barry out too, but that remains to be seen. But another excellent episode right here, and the plot just keeps getting better and better, and the show just keeps getting better and better. I love it. So can't wait to see what they got for the next one. I'm so excited this is voted back into rotation because it's one of those episodes where you totally benefit from being able to binge it, but yeah. it's okay if we can have just like a couple days between each other. So this is much better. I'm really excited. Thank you guys for voting this yep. back into rotation. Um, no, I think it's a, a great follow-up to the first episode. Obviously, we see Barry still struggling. And this is the first time he struggled not to like fully commit to like the job job where he backed all the way out to. Um, so we'll have to see how that plays out with Hank specifically, um, because this is going to be a problem. And now everyone saw him too, so like, it's not even like he dipped out and no one saw him. Like, yeah. someone definitely knows there was a hit put on, like, their thing, so that's going to be a problem. It'll be interesting to see how that's pulled up or what, uh, Cristobal gets told, because that's, obviously they're going to be like, dude, like, this guy <laughs> met us. Um, so it'll be interesting how that plays out. Sally, as far as, like, uh... I'm very interested to see what they do with her long term with her character, but obviously she's getting roles now, and like she's the annoying chick who's complaining about the roles roles she's getting while everyone else is like, yeah, dude, we would we would love books. just to get anything yeah. booked. So she is the 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 continuously annoying person. <laughs> I feel mm -hmm. like in this show, like. It doesn't matter what it is, she's always put in the outcast position as far as being that, and she does it herself. Like, it's all on her. Um, and with Fuchs being back now, I think, I think you're, you're right, though, as far as, like, they are well, they worked way too long together not to have Some this scenario. Yeah, yeah, I think, too, and I can't see what... Excuse me, the cop would have told him to make him even do this. Like, I can't, yeah. like, you didn't have nothing on, like, to your point, when they were doing the interview, like, so you have nothing on me. Yeah. Like, basically, you have yeah. nothing at all. Um, so I'm curious to see how that plays out. But a great second episode. So glad we get to check out the next one soon. Uh, very excited, though. Can't wait to check out it. Yeah. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Barry Season 2, Episode Number 2. And until next time, peace.